What's up, guys? Mikkel here. And the big news that everyone's focusing on right now is what fine is Ripple going to pay in the Ripple SEC case? Now, guys, this is the main story kind of circulating around X right now. But I actually think there is something much bigger at play here that no one is focusing on. Guys, almost everyone is talking about the last thing being left in the Ripple SEC case is this fine. But I think I actually learned something very important that is much more significant to this case going forward that Judge Torres is going to have to rule on. Guys, in this video, I want to talk about this kind of hidden narrative still left to be decided in this case that I think is going to be absolutely critical for Ripple and XRP going forward. Guys, towards the end of the video, though, I also want to talk about something very interesting that kind of got leaked on the down low, and that is two major banks that just signed up with Ripple. Guys, make sure to stick around to the end of the video to see that. You are not going to want to miss it. Like always, your support means so much to this channel. Thank you to everyone who likes the videos and to subscribe to the channel. Guys, these things really do help me out so much. Also, we do daily live streams now, so if you're missing out on those, make sure to subscribe and turn bell notifications on. This will make sure that you guys are always informed when I go live. Last of all, guys, if you ever need a good place to buy some XRP, make sure to check out my favorite exchange up poll down in the description of this video. But that said, though, let's jump right into it, and I hope you guys enjoy the content. So, guys, I want to jump into this video and go over exactly what I think we need to be hyper-focusing on in the Ripple SEC case. Like I said in the intro, most people right now are really only talking about what Ripple's fine is going to be. And while I think this is interesting, I really don't think it's the bigger issue at hand. At the end of the day, Ripple's going to be able to pay whatever fine the SEC gets. I mean, whether it's the $700 million or whether it's the $10 million Ripple wanted, Ripple's going to be able to pay it. So I think a lot of people are really focusing on this fine, but I don't think it's a big deal at the end of the day. Yes, we would like a fine that's easy for Ripple to pay so that Ripple can use that money that they were going to use paying the SEC in a more productive manner building out their business. There is no doubt that I think this is a better use of the money, but there's actually something bigger at play here, and that is how Ripple is going to be able to do their ODL product in the United States going forward in the future. As it sits right now, there is some uncertainty on how Ripple can continue to do their ODL product product in the United States. Right now, the judge kind of lumped ODL into securities transactions, and that's a big issue for Ripple. Now, what Ripple said in their brief that is so important is that Ripple changed the way they did ODL, so it is now compliant with the court's order. Ripple said, okay, we acknowledge that ODL in the past raised these issues. We got rid of these issues in our ODL product, and now we're going to move forward doing ODL in the United States in a compliant manner. Specifically, the court took issue with Ripple doing lockups, Ripple issuing XRP at a discount for ODL, and Ripple not reimbursing people for losses and gains. Ripple said that they are going to get rid of all these issues in the future, so it should be okay for them to continue running their ODL product. Guys, this is a thing I don't think enough people are focusing on. Judge Torres said that Ripple's ODL product violated the securities laws because of some key issues. Ripple said in this brief, hey, we have addressed these key issues. We want permission to keep using our ODL product in the United States so long as we make sure not to do the things you pointed out in this court order. Guys, I believe this is going to be the most important thing to watch going forward in the future. Because if Judge Torres does give Ripple clarity that the new way they are structuring ODL is compliant with the court's ruling, that is going to be a massive Massive, massive, massive win for Ripple and XRP. And it also goes to something that I've been pointing out on this channel. Ripple is a very nimble company. Ripple can easily change their products to be compliant with court orders. When the SEC brought this case, they had to point out specific actions Ripple was doing in the past and explain why those actions violated securities laws. Now, when they were pointing out these actions, they had to be hyper specific and every single detail mattered. So what Ripple really got in this case was an attack on their past products, but Ripple can always change their products to make them compliant, and that is exactly what Ripple is attempting to do with ODL. The court pointed out there were some issues with Ripple's ODL product, Ripple has fixed those issues and is now asking the court to allow them to continue doing their ODL product with the fixed issues. Guys, this is the thing I am going to be paying very close attention to, and I think it's a much bigger deal than the actual fine Ripple pays. We know Ripple can pay the fine, we know Ripple has the money, but we want to make sure sure that they can continue running their ODL service in the United States using XRP, and that is a big thing at play right now. 
Now, Jeremy Hogan just did a live stream and he said he does believe that Ripple is going to win on this ODL issue. He says he believes Judge Torres is going to say, you know what, you address the issues here. Yes, you can pay a fine based on old ODL sales, but going forward, as long as you do things in a compliant manner, you can use your ODL product in the United States because now it's structured differently and does not violate securities laws. This is going to be super interesting to watch play out and it's going to be very interesting thing to see how the SEC responds to this issue on May 6th. Guys, there's still a big issue at play here. It's ODL. It's going to be very interesting to see how this plays out, but I wanted to bring this to your attention because I don't think enough people are focusing on the real issue here, which isn't necessarily the fine. It's really how ODL is going to operate going forward into the future. Now, guys, with that said, I do want to quickly mention the fine because there's no doubt this is really what's getting the attention all over social media. Everyone's speculating, will it be closer to the 10 million? Will it be closer to 2 billion? Guys, I would love to hear your thoughts down in the comment section below. Understand, I will not be responding. There's going to be someone pretending to be me in the comments. Do not answer that person. It will be a scammer. I try to get rid of them. I can't. Blah, 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 blah. Most of you know that. But a lot of people are saying that Ripple's going to have to fork over close to $2 billion. Guys, I just want you to know, Mark Fagel has been one of the biggest SEC supporters out there. He's very anti-Ripple, very anti-XRP, and he has already come out and said that he doesn't believe the SEC is going to get anything close to $2 billion. Just a data point we need to keep in mind, even the biggest SEC supporters who have been on the SEC side this entire time don't think it's likely the SEC is going to get anything close to $2 billion. Most of the lawyers who have been following Ripple and XRP this entire time think it's very very likely we're likely going to see a fine less than a hundred million dollars and this is essentially just going to be Judge Torres splitting the baby. I've talked about this a lot on the channel. I don't believe Ripple should have to pay anything but my thoughts don't matter. Judge Torres throughout this entire case has continued to hand Ripple big wins and the SEC small wins. I believe this is going to be another great example of this. The SEC is going to get its small win in a fine from Ripple. hundred million dollars whatever maybe less but Ripple is going to get its big win in being out of this case and making it so their ODL product is complying in the United States with XRP already being declared not a security. Overall, this is how I think the whole fine issue is going to go over, but I really don't think it's the main topic of discussion here. I think the main topic of discussion should be whether or not Ripple can continue using XRP for its ODL service in the United States. This is what I'm hyper focused on. And I guess the last thing I'll say in regards to this is there was a line in the case talking about how since this case has been going on, Ripple has been using other assets for their ODL service in the United States, including Bitcoin. Guys, the only reason Ripple is doing this is because they don't want to make a mockery of the court and be going against what the court has said during this court order. Once we get this clarification that I've been talking about this entire video, I think it is very likely Ripple is going to go back to using XRP in the United States as long as everything goes to plan. Like I said, there's a lot at stake here, but most of the lawyers following this think Ripple has the ability to actually win out on this issue. So this is what I'm focused on going forward. I want to finish this video off and show you a very interesting clip that really has gone under the radar, and that is just another major announcement from major banks using Ripple's products. Now, guys, this is specifically a representative of Mataco talking about two Goliath institutions they have signed up recently that is about to hit the news. Guys, remember, Mataco is now Ripple. Listen up to this clip. We now have um, uh, two major prospects that can also... We now have um, uh, two major prospects. I cannot name it, but hopefully you will read it in the press in the near future. Um, <laughs> they both, both of them, and I was really surprised, actually it's free, um, they're all going for SaaS operating model. So there's really not much more you have to listen to that. Two major Goliath institutions using Metaco's custody, which is now owned by Ripple. Guys, it's really easy to see the big picture at play here. Ripple is taking control of as many layers of the institutional cryptocurrency business as possible. They're starting off with custody. They understand that if they can get access to the assets of these big institutions, they can help these institutions tokenize them. Once they tokenize these assets on the XRP ledger, they essentially create the internet of 
value on the XRP ledger, making XRP the liquidity for all these assets by converting these institutions' assets to issued assets on the XRP ledger, starting by taking control of custody of the assets themselves. Ripple is taking control of the infrastructure of the biggest institutions on Earth using Metaco to gain access to the assets. Guys, right now we have the rails of the new financial system being built in the cryptocurrency industry, but the biggest issue we have lacked is the ability to take control of all the assets in the traditional financial system and issue them on the new system. The traditional financial institutions hold all the money, they hold all the assets, and they haven't yet been brought over to the new financial system digital currencies. Ripple right now is working on taking control of the custody so that they can take the assets of the old financial system and bring it over to the new one. Guys, the fact that Ripple is landing partnerships via Metaco to take control of the custody of the assets of the TradFi system, bring them over to blockchain, i.e. the XRP ledger, tokenize them and make XRP the liquidity. Guys, this is Ripple becoming the most important cryptocurrency player from an infrastructure standpoint. Guys, the big institutions are coming, but Taco is telling you right now, the biggest banks have interest in gaining adoption in this asset class. Guys, there is no question in my mind that XRP is going to be one of the premier assets they are focused on when they come over. It's only a matter of time. Clarity is right around the corner. This case is almost over. Ripple is making strides with the biggest institutions on earth, and I have a feeling he is just waiting for this case to be over to make this big announcement. Guys, super exciting stuff is right around the corner. We have been lacking clarity, but that issue is almost over. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for coming. I hope you enjoyed this update. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe. It really does mean so much. And for now, Mickle out. Woo!